This is section 2.3, part 3. I want to solve the equation 2 thirds k minus, open parentheses, k plus 1 fourth equal to 1 twelfth k plus 4. Now, I do want to get rid of the fractions here eventually. Um, we do that by multiplying by the least common denominator. There is a way to kill the fractions before you distribute. However, it messes a lot of people up until they are really comfortable with things. So I know it's not gonna be fun, but I strongly suggest that you bite the bullet, distribute, keep the fractions around for one step, and then once you've distributed, then you worry about getting rid of the fractions. Okay, so with that in mind, there is a negative in front of this set of parentheses. That means that's a negative one I need to distribute. Distributing a negative one just changes the signs, so that shouldn't be so bad. So I'm going to distribute here and here. I'm also going to take this 1 12th and distribute here and here. That's a four over one right there, which will help us when we do that distribution. So what I have, I have 2 thirds k minus k minus 1 fourth minus 1 times positive 1, negative 1 times 1 fourth equal 2. That's a 1 right there, so that's 1 twelfth k plus 1 fourth, 4 times 4, 4, 12 times 1 is 12. So 4 twelfths. Or you could reduce it if you want to. It's not, not necessary right now though. Now let's look at this. Now we have distributed. We want to get rid of our fractions. I need to find my least common denominator. I look for my largest denominator, which is a 12, and then ask myself if all of my other denominators divide into that evenly. 3 does divide evenly into 12. There's not a denominator here, so I don't have to worry about that one. 4 also goes into 12. So my LCD is going to be 12. And just like on the previous problem, I'm going to multiply everything by a 12 or a 12 over 1, depending on whether I'm writing it beside a fraction or if I'm writing it beside a whole number. So this is 12 over 1 times 2 thirds k minus 12 times, that's a 1k, right? 1k minus 12 over 1 times 1 fourth equal to 12 over 1 times 1 twelfth k plus 12 over 1 times 4 twelfths. Now every denominator should go away. This the 3 and the 12, if I divide that by 3, I get a 1. Divide this by 3, and I get a 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so this is 8k minus 12 times 1 is 12k minus the 4 and the 12 will reduce. Divide that by 4, you get a 1. Divide this by 4, you get a 3. 3 times 1 is 3 equal to 1 12th and 12 are reciprocals. So that is simply a 1k. I'll write the 1 in. Plus, in here, the 12s cancel out and I get a 4. So I have 1k plus 4. Now, these are like terms. So combine those. 8k minus 12k would be negative 4k minus 3 is equal to 1k plus 4. Now I want to get my variables on the same side. So I either want to move this over to here or this one over to here. Um, eh, let's just move this over to here. Why not? So this is a minus 4k 
So I'm going to add 4K to both sides. And I'm going to write this up over here. So this cancels out and I have a negative 3 equal to 1K plus 4K will be 5K and I still have the plus 4. Now I want this variable term by itself so I'm going to move this over to here. I need to subtract the 4 from both sides. That gives me a negative 7 equal to 5K. And now I need to undo this multiplication. It's my last step. Divide both sides by a 5 to get a positive 1K. And my answer is negative 7 fifths equals K. Okay.